Well, well, well. Apparently, the Athy State win was not a fluke. And I, I mean, I Athy State's good. <laughs> Michigan fans, you know, I, I wouldn't, you know, I really wouldn't harp on this. Like, I don't. I don't really. I'm not a big rival with Michigan. Uh, I made that last one because it was just so hilarious that a big, big time team lost to a very much smaller school. Um, but a lot of the comments I got on the last video that I made about y'all uh, making excuses for them. Uh, one guy said that, uh, "Oh, well, mark my words, we're gonna win out." Oregon had something else in that. Thirty-nine to seven. See. That's the difference. See, if y'all had been beaten in this game by just like a field goal or something, I probably wouldn't have made this video. Y'all got taken out by the woodshed and beaten down like stepchildren, okay? Now, the reason I'm making this video, there's a guy, a Michigan fan, uh, named Anonymous86. Apparently, he wants his name Anonymous uh, because of his team. He's, he was probably one of those fans that you saw on TV with their hats down like this. Just, I mean, embarrassed for the team, what happened. Um, and he left a... Uh, a comment on my TCU Texas video, the one that I was getting pumped up for the game tonight. And uh, he, uh, apparently he thinks that games are over after halftime. And he put on, oh, look who's losing to TCU. Yeah, y'all are better than Michigan, but y'all are still overrated. And then the second half, Texas comes alive, drops 34 on what was last year's number two overall defense last year. So, yeah, you probably want to lay off on your comments because your team is not backing you up on this. Um, you know, and really, the thing about it, I don't disrespect Michigan, at least not their history. I respect that. Y'all have one of the greatest football histories of everybody. I mean, y'all won a bunch of national titles, won, probably won the most games, I believe, like 846 or something like that, uh, football games. Y'all got a great history and tradition. And uh, someone... Put on there. It may have been anonymous. Somebody else put on there. You know why is everybody hating on Michigan? Why is everybody hate hit Michigan? Look, you're not the only team that everybody hates. I got one of the colors on right now. Everybody hates Texas. If you don't like Texas, you hate them. All right. Not just if you're a Big Twelve school. I mean LSU hates us. Arkansas hates us. All the Southern schools they can't stand us. All right. And I think part of it is we've got a stuck up air to us. I'll say that because you know what we're from Texas, and we take a lot of pride in that. A lot of people don't like that. Um, you know, even though, I mean, you know, and LSU is a great team. LSU put a whooping on Virginia Tech, which I believe well, I, that's what I thought would happen. Vitek didn't impress me in their first week. Um, but, yeah. So, Michigan fans, you know, and mostly, and I'm probably at the same kind of comments if y'all watch this one again, just, hey, fatty, get on a treadmill, shut up. Uh, no one cares you're saying, look, I played football in high school, but I didn't make it to the college level. I was nowhere good enough to play at the college level. I love football. And this is the be you know, this right here, you know, I started this time at the Cowboys, but now I'm here in Austin. And for the person who called me a bandwagon fan, what the, how, how do you get off saying I'm a bandwagon fan for the Longhorns? I go to the school. Who, who else, why should I, oh, I don't want to go for Texas because they're good and I'll be a bandwagon fan? Heck no. Man, if we lose every single game this year, which we're not because we already won our first two, someone else is 0-2, but... Um, why, why, would I, why would I not go for the Longhorns if I go to the university? So whoever made that comment, I don't even know your name. You're not even worth saying. I'm, get, just get out of here, man. That's stupid. It's stupid. Okay? So, you know, I probably get the same kind of comments from all you Michigan fans. Actually, you're probably all still, like, you know, vomiting from what kind of what the, the defense y'all playing. And look, I know that y'all lost a lot of guys. Okay, and that's what I tell them people. Like, look, Michigan lost a lot of guys on defense. They got a lot of freshmen starting. But the thing is, you still got Chad Henney. You still got Mike Hart. You still got that offense. And the offense only put up seven points on Oregon. So, and all y'all calling Texas overrated? Look, Michigan fans don't need to be saying anything. Let's see, first week. Y'all play Appy State, who is a uh, lower division team, and you lose. We play Arkansas State, who is... In our, you know, in the 1A, I don't even know what they're calling them now, but, uh, you know, a smaller team school, we struggle, we win. Y'all play Oregon, an unranked team. We play TCU, a ranked team, and whip their tail. Okay, don't understand y'all's logic. So, Michigan, just lay back and let Ohio State. Actually, I think Wisconsin's going to win the Big Ten. That's what I picked. 
But Ohio State's looking good, too. So, uh, doesn't matter to me. Going to have a tough time in the Big 12, but this video is not about the Big 12. This is about Michigan sucking it up again, and their fans need to shut up and just be quiet for the rest of this year. That's all i got to say. So, hook them horns.